Hey guys, what's up? I'm here with another drugstore product review. This time it's from CoverGirl. I feel like every brand has new things out right now and CoverGirl has been one of the ones that I haven't tried as much from yet, but I have to say I am pleasantly surprised at how much I enjoy these. I've been using them so much that I actually have been keeping these in my purse in my little makeup bag here. These right here are the O oh Sugar lip balms from CoverGirl. Now I have five of them here. There are tons to choose from. Luckily when I was buying CoverGirl, uh, they had like a buy one get one half sale so not only did I get these lip balms but I also got a couple of their other products like they have new eyeshadow palettes right now and they also have some face products I have a blush from them on my cheeks today and it's really beautiful I love it and they also had a primer a few different primers to try so I got this one for dry skin I have used it a few times I just think it's okay so yeah out of all of these new products my favorite ones by far are these O oh sugar lip balms I just enjoy these so much and a lot of people said that these are supposed to be dupes for the fresh sugar lip balms which in case you haven't tried them I have one right here this is my only full-size one that I ever bought because these are like 21 22 dollars at Sephora which is quite expensive for a lip balm and that's why I just have one right here honestly don't reach for these as often as I would like to I try to use them but I just forget and honestly they are a little bit messy um, even though they're beautifully pigmented they just they're a little bit too creamy for me and I feel like they kind of slip out of my lip line and uh, you know for that reason alone I wouldn't repurchase these and I know a lot of people love these I'm not saying they're bad I really like them I do think that they are enjoyable and they have they give you like a luxurious kind of feel I do like that but it's not something I would repurchase so that was one of my reasons on getting these is because people were saying this is only a six dollar seven dollar dupe on the display it says like get a new fresh look for your lips like it even it was trying to kind of market it as a lip treatment kind of balm product so for me that was like a kind of a hint a little jab at fresh there from CoverGirl so I was just like yeah okay I gotta get at least one and when I first got these I only got like two or three um, like I said they were like on sale so I got these buy one get one half and I believe at Walgreens they were like seven dollars a piece so I know it's a little pricey for a lip balm especially at the drugstore but I have to say these are awesome. I really like them. I think these are actually pretty comparable to the fresh lip balms. Now I know people who are like ride or die fresh are not gonna think these are better. I'm not saying they're better but I think that they are pretty good. Like they're pretty close on the mark I would say. It smells the same to me. Honestly when I smell this it has that same kind of citrusy scent that the fresh lip balms have. The other reason I really like these is because of this shape. I'm not sure if you guys can see this but it's shaped like a lipstick and also it kind of goes on I would say less creamy than the lip treatment this is more of like a lip balm so it's not gonna slip all around it doesn't have that extra creamy texture if you like that very very thick kind of lip balm texture you're gonna want to go for the fresh the fresh definitely has more of that creamy um, like overnight kind of feel to it these are more of an everyday wear type of product for me this is what I've been wearing to school I just think it's such an effortless product you only need a tiny bit and you're set like this stuff actually tints your lips and it actually gives yourself a little bit of moisture too so I really like that about these and I think the price is great for what you're getting I love the packaging the scent the colors are beautiful let's get into some lip swatches here I know that's what you guys want to see so this is my first one I have this is called number zero two candy and I have it on my lips I've been wearing this for a few hours and it still gives my lips a really nice hint of color just add a fresh layer here so you can see that's what it looks like freshly applied. This is number two, Candy. I really like this shade, it's so pretty. It's kind of like a, um, I would say like a medium pink color. It looks a little bit red on me right now, but I guess that's because I have a few layers on. Um, I really like this one. I definitely recommend Candy if you're looking for a really nice, just effortless everyday shade. And this is what it looks like when you freshly apply it. It is a very kind of um, almost glossy. It's kind of got that really nice shine finish. I think it's beautiful next up I also really love this one for every day this is number four taffy and taffy has a little bit more of a brown undertone to it on me it still looks a little pink I think that's because the previous shade kind of stained my lips a little bit but this definitely has more browns in it let me show you guys I'll swatch it so I'm just gonna swatch this one next to candy so you can kind of see it definitely is a few shades deeper 
I really like this one too. I just think it's a great shade. I think this one will suit a lot of skin tones because it has more of a neutral um, undertone to it. It's not as pink as candy. I just love this. I think it's really effortless. Next up is Spice. This one is another favorite of mine because I feel like it looks very red on me. And with the name Spice, I was expecting it to be maybe more neutral or something, but I think it's like almost a cherry red. I really like it. This is definitely uh, one of the more pigmented ones I have. And this is number five. So let me swatch it right next to Taffy for you guys. I'm just going to give it a couple swipes right here. And there you go. Now these, you do have to build them up because when you only put one swipe, you can see it's just very light. So if you want it to look more natural, just do one. But there it is kind of built up right here. There is Spice next to Taffy and Candy. Now this one's really bright. It's called Punch and this is number six in the line. It's kind of like an orangey red. I really like it, especially for spring. I think this will be gorgeous. This whole line really I think will be nice. And I'm just going to swatch Punch right here a few times so you can see this one is also very pigmented. So here's my fresh lip treatment swatch right next to Punch. You could see this one is definitely just a bit more pigmented, a bit more opaque, but it also is more of a creamy kind of thicker texture. and. And uh, it's a beautiful product. I do really like it and I do try to use it. But the one thing downside about this is that you really have to kind of babysit your lips when you wear it. So I don't wear it out as often as I would like to because it's so creamy that it kind of slips around. So personally, I prefer um, the O Sugar just because the texture on this is more wearable. It's easier to work with for me. All right, now last but not least is number seven. This is called Soda. And this is one of the deeper shades I have in the line. I couldn't find many... Um, like deeper kind of wine shades. I think this is the only one that kind of reminded me of a maybe more of a wine burgundy kind of deeper red. So there's soda on the end here, very pigmented. And you can get more of a natural look with this one too. If you only put like one light layer, let me just show you guys, it can look pretty soft too. So there's just one swipe on the top. You know, you don't have to wear these full on color. You can really do what you want with these and that's why I like them so much. I really enjoy them because I'm finding myself using them not only in the day when when I don't even have makeup on. Um, most of the time I don't wear makeup like in my weekdays and stuff and I still like these. I mean even for a little bit of moisture and color they can look very natural at times and then other days like today I'm filming a video I have full makeup on these still look good so I like the fact that you can kind of use it as you want to. You don't have to just wear this one way or the other. So that's it for this review on the new CoverGirl O Sugar lip balms. I really enjoy these. I've definitely been getting my use out of them. I even went back and got more shades after I first tried them. I really do like these. Let me know if you guys have tried these in the comments. I would love to hear from you all and as always thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.